And of course, there's really two questions to start out related to this presentation. What exactly is Canva? And um, what is an infographic? So um, let me start first with an infographic. If I zoom out, you'll notice that my um, content has been organized in um, a long strip of information that, uh, that has a, a nice sort of flow or story to it for my, for the, my presentation, um, conveying information uh, with some text, with a fair amount of visual information. This is, is one example of an infographic. So an infographic is a, is a sort of visual representation of conveying of, uh, maybe data of information, of ideas, oftentimes uh, conveying a particular argument or, or, or thesis. Um, and you'll notice here, uh, this might start to give you a sense as to the variety of uh, what an infographic might look like. So these are templates that Canva allows you to choose from. Um, but oftentimes, so this is like a pro con, you can see there's blocks with various information. Um, you know, this one is five reasons for uh, giving to charity, so it outlines points in the systematic approach. These are um, really what start to represent infographics. As a general overview, when we were looking to the literature, what we found was that infographics have some sort of, of course, structure to them. They're, they've been um, well researched, sort of well prepared, given lots of thought to the way that information is going to be presented and designed. So, um, what the, one of the key elements for students to keep in mind is that telling a story, that there's some sort of introduction that grabs the attention of the reader, that there's a central argument um, in which the infographic focuses upon, uh, in which the, the creative content, the, the data that's being represented, all has been very strategically selected to uh, complement that material or that, that argument. And then, of course, um, thinking about what the conclusion is in terms of what is the reader to do with this knowledge? How can they put it into practice? How can they find more information? And as general rules of thumb, an infographic should take no more than about 30 or 40 seconds to read. It's pretty quick in terms of uh, an overview of information. Um, data, there's some thought given as to how the data can be represented both accurately and ethically. I think this comes from thinking, well, an infographic is so high level and there's only so much information that you can get on that infographic, that um, the designer has to think carefully as to how they're going to present that information. That it would be very easy to gloss over or present high-level data that doesn't fully um, give credit to, in an accurate or ethical sense, the information that's being represented here. So depending on the topic, um, certainly, there's, I mean, in every topic, there's that consideration of what's the most appropriate information to be on here, and am I displaying that? appropriately. And I think one of the other components there is referencing material. So it's highly encouraged uh, because an infographic will stand alone from other documentation that references get, um, get their space on the infographic itself. And then telling a story in, in sort of simplified yet um, highly creative fashion. So what that looks like. There's a few different types of infographics as well or uh, ways of sort of organizing information. An infographic might actually include a variety of these types. So, I mean, this, this we pull from Canva in terms of their guiding uh, structure as to what an infographic would look like, that you could organize it alphabetically or by an acronym, that there could be some sort of display of a timeline, um, certainly of data representations, and I think that's, a lot of people might automatically think of that when it comes to infographics. Comparison tables that uh, weigh pros and cons or, or display different sides of, of an argument. Um, some sort of process flow to show how uh, something moves along a process of production or, um, or anatomically, an anatomical or physiological process. But the main point here is that the sky is really the limit, that an infographic can be a really open, um, creative space. And that um, an effective infographic would actually combine a lot of these elements together. And certainly from the student perspective, um, we would be encouraging that there's, there's a process here of 
of researching, you know, deciding on a topic or a, a line of inquiry, researching through scholarly approaches to, to uh, identify the common themes or the major points that is to be made, and then um, drafting that information before then getting into something like Canva so that um, clear thought has been given to what is going to be represented and how that information is going to be displayed. 